Hey guys, Gossip and Reactions, Moristic. Adrian Balloon Hutton says she spent over $1 million on IVF treatments before welcoming a child via surrogate. Well, I gotta say, I'm happy for her. At least she had the money to do so. And another thing women are not talking about is having abortion in an early age. Listen. I don't know what happened to her if she was having some medical issues why she couldn't naturally carry a child or have a baby some people do have some problem you know there was nothing you can do about it but we've had some young ladies that been in the game for a long time having sexual activities get pregnant Oh, I'm young. I got to study. I have to do this and that. And decided to remove the baby. And God punished them later on by when they really want to have a baby, not able to have a baby. I'm going to talk more about it. You have to be careful. Your eggs are valuable when you are young, healthy. As you get older, when those women chooses to have kids... In a young age, they choose to have career. And I, I understand. I understand the part if your parents not rich, you don't want to be a single mom. You don't want to end it up with a child without having the needs to take care of that child financially. But at the same time, nature has its time, its cost. It runs out. And when you choose to go to a 8 to 10, 12 years Korea, not even Korea, uh, uh, how you call that? It's not a Korea. Damn, what's the name of that? It's when you go to school for something, a degree. There was another name for it. I, I can't, it can't come to mind right now. To study for doctor, lawyer, judge, whatever it is that you, you, you studied or you decide to take. Now, you go to school. And some people still date, have intercourse, get pregnant because they don't want to disappoint their parents. They don't want to disappoint themselves. They decide to get rid of the child. So later on, after they have the career they wanted, they have the um, job they wanted. There's another name. I just cannot put it to, uh, to mind right now, but help me and leave it and, and I'll bring it later on at another time. Once they have that it job, a profession, guys, that's the word, profession. Once they get that profession they've wanted, they're already in their 30s, right? In your 30s, that's when you're at high risk to have a child. You can have a child, naturally. But there was more risk of the child come with some kind of deformity. So I strong, I'm not a doctor and um, I'm not a, whatever it is. I'm not a professional to give you any type of, um, you know, advice, but your best valuable eggs are in your twenties, 25, 30. So the best thing someone should do in nowadays, it should be okay. My eggs are really good right now. Let me retrieve some. Froze them for a later date later on when you want to have children. Some people are having kids with eggs that's not even their own natural eggs. Because they had to use uh, some donor eggs, I believe they call it. Look, I'm not throwing shades on anyone. I have my four kids. It wasn't easy for me being a single mom, but they are my children biologically. And another thing, because of them, I had to stop going to school. It's a choice you have to make in life, you know. You have the education, you have the profession, but you don't have kids. Or you have the kids, you don't have the education, you don't have the profession. <laughs> it's a battle. What do you do? What do you do? Do you want to be a mom at a certain age, then go to school to become who, whatever you want it to be? Or do you want to have the career while you're going for your career, have your kids, 
it's something you have to balance out some people are able to do it some people are not able to do it where i'm going with this adrian balloon was a dancer a singer and then become a, a a talk show host but we know that she was dating kim kardashian's brother uh what's this guy name oh god oh jesus i forgot his name and those people what they do in their young age when they are dating having unprotected sex most of them get pregnant and they are willing to get rid of the baby like no problem no big deal but what you don't know your body is doing something naturally it should have been doing because of whatever you have done the action and reaction you have sex unprotected sex your guy's sperm mixed with your eggs it form a baby your body is getting used to have that thing going and knows for how long it's supposed to be there to create this child but there you are selfish self or for whatever reason you said oh i cannot have a baby right now i gotta finish my career i gotta have a profession i need to go back to school i can't disappoint my parents you try or you did get rid of the baby so later on when you finally think oh i got it all put together now i have my profession i have my money i have my fame oh something missing let me have a baby and guess what your body is not allowing you to have a baby so don't be selfish think about your action think about what you're doing do you really want to have your own biological biological kid do you want to use a donor eggs it doesn't matter to you or you just want to be free like a bird don't give to fly f what's going on with your body now could you feel like somehow it doesn't matter to have a child i don't know people do it and i and an ig post announcing the arrival of the child adrian had reflected on her challenging fertility journey he is worth every tear every disappointment every delayed prayer every ivf cycle every miscarriage she wrote everything well i'm happy for you you feel that way you should also say what was the reason you were not able to kill your own child did you have some kind of medical problem did you have some miscarriage in the early age did you abort kids what they don't tell you about abortion even from being a young child in my country i know when a woman abort kids in their early 20s 30s that can stop them from having kids in the future they don't tell you stuff like that they just go and say, oh god no big deal you're young you can do it that's why even though i have my four kids even though i've been through a lot of hell by myself to raise my kids with the help of their grandma thank you god for that somewhat my mother but their grandma really helped me from the father's side the first one she was really good with me and the kids i gotta give her credit for that i don't want to mention her name but she's a great person she's been there for me when i needed her so you gotta go back and say damn what did i do back then did I remove a child because I was not ready financially? I did not have the femme, the profession I needed. Or God never really blessed me to have a baby. Or I could not conceive naturally. And it's okay. It's okay. Nowadays, medicine advanced. There was a lot that can be done for a lot of people that don't think they could have, you know, conceived a child. And somehow medicine took over, science took over. They are able to have a baby. So again, we don't know what was the reason. When you say you had to spend uh, over $1 million to conceive a child by surrogate, you have to at least give a reason why so people can learn and realize get rid of a child at an early day is not sometimes the best thing to do. Again, at the end of the day, to which is on, you can choose to keep or remove a baby. But remember, there was consequences down the line. Subscribe. Thank you. Bye.